Meanwhile, scientists and Flagstaff were working with the live coronavirus for the first time today. It's part of their continuing research into the virus. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is in Flagstaff at Tijin North today. Colleen, when did the virus uh, there start working and when, when, excuse me, when did the virus there working arrive? The live virus actually arrived from the NIH yesterday, and now TGen scientists are going to be using it to verify samples of COVID-19 from patients here in Arizona. In this biosafety level three lab where scientists are extra protected is where the work happens. Procedures done to extract the genome sequence from the ever developing coronavirus. Providing an additional level of analysis that's not really available anywhere else. TGen North Director Dr. David Engelthaler says they're using a live COVID-19 sample just delivered from the NIH to get the RNA separated out so they can understand what makes up the virus and verify it in other samples. So that we can not only really prove that the virus is there, but understand what strain of the virus is there. The sequencing can get extremely specific. We actually can determine whether or not it's more closely related to strains coming out of China, out of Hong Kong, out of Italy, or if they're starting to circulate here in the U.S. The team at TGen North has received a sample from the second case of coronavirus out of Maricopa County. They'll verify it, look at the RNA and any mutations. How many times do those mutations occur? Where do they occur? How's it going to change the virus? But how fast is it evolving? Because uh, that means we may have to continue to develop new diagnostic tests to keep up with that change. While scientists continue studying coronavirus, Engelthaler says organisms generally become less deadly as outbreaks continue, but the future of the virus is still unknown. Hopefully that's the case here, that it will become less deadly, but unfortunately maybe more easily spread and, and we'll see it even more widespread than it is today. Making looking close, as close as the RNA of the virus, helpful in monitoring changes. Now TGen will also be assisting the state with overflow samples of the coronavirus if the virus spreads. We're in Flagstaff, Colleen Sakura. 12 News. Colleen, thanks. Well, look, we know a lot of you have concerns and questions about this, and we're here to try to help separate facts from fear. I hope you'll join us in about uh, 25 minutes for a 12 News special coming up at 6.30, right after 12 News at 6, to get answers to your questions from experts. You can ask your questions right now on any of our social media platforms. In addition to our social media pages, you can also text FACTS to 602-444-1212 for all of the latest information about the coronavirus as it continues to develop.